I do believe that it is about time that we get started. Welcome to the stream if you are here. If you are not here, you are still welcome, as always. Today is a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. I am, as usual, a little tired, but that's okay. Because we're still being real chill. Playing some more song, Which has been just wonderful. Honestly, it's been a beautiful game with amazing vistas and now I'm in a cave system beautiful because of all the just glowing fauna and crystals and stuff great but I'm not going to delay too much I think I've got coffee on the way so I'm just going to get into it Uh, I did have to kind of walk back to this point. It kind of checkpointed just a little bit earlier than this, but that's okay. I remembered how to get here, so just start climbing. Oh. And I immediately mess up. All right, awesome. I didn't need to jump anyways. I do need to jump over here. I think I can climb up here and does that will that get me close enough? I suppose that's the real question. Not close enough to that. I suppose if I climb over here, I could maybe jump to that. So I don't have to do that climb again. Huh. 
Yeah, that doesn't get me over there. We docked for a while at the home of an old local farmer, Gal. To him, always having a wall within reach of and a roof over your head is comforting. A feeling of safety you don't get in the open air. He made me laugh. This guy? No thank you. I saw it once and it made me dizzy. Gal seems to be all alone in the world, but he can't bring himself to leave the tower. We don't have to ask twice for him to tell us about water. Uh, he mainly remembers the sound it made when he was just a tadpole, as he put it, and the silence that followed the drought. It spoke of full canals and waterfalls, mud and pruny skin. I wasn't the only one listening. Light of the glowing mushroom. People's faces were exhausted, but their eyes were bright. The entire group hung on to his every word. Who will listen to his stories once we're gone? We ended up staying at the farm, delaying our departure just a little longer. There was no shortage of excuses. Gal's farm needed extra hands. There was a building frame to repair, spare parts to track down, ropes to replace. It felt good to be working on something concrete, rather than wearing myself out on an interminable climb, chasing after legends. Probably the same feeling that keeps me carving my little sculpture. When it was time to leave, Matt stayed behind. There was no need to explain, the group understood. All of us were secretly hoping to stay at Gal's farm. Well, I was. But I guess I'm still holding out a glimmer of hope for this expedition. Saying goodbye to Met was probably the hardest thing I've had to do since I started this climb. I don't know if I feel like writing anymore. I have the energy to. Goodbye, maybe. Nah, you're totally, you're totally gonna write some more. You don't give up. Jen, are you still around? How are things out there? Still no rain? I hosted a group for your part of the tower here. Uh, off chasing clouds, or whatever is in them. We had a great time, and I got a new housemate out of it too. Youngster, who reminds me of you. It'll be nice having two of us to run with what's left of the farm. Hey old man, great to hear from you. And I'm glad you, oh, I'm glad to know you're in good company. Cass and I were actually just talking about the odd jobs I used to do. It's been a while now since the harvest, hasn't it? Well, I think back on... I, back, I think I'm back to it now. Um, uh, when I think back to it now, it seems crazy how many people would come help you pick the sparkle shrew. Well, mostly because of the pies you'd make from them for the snack time. You know, you never did get... You never did give me the recipe. I'm stum- I'm kinda stumbling with my words right now. Terribly sorry. Okay, so there's clearly a thing here. Okay, so I can get right there. Nice. And I'll me get high enough to swing from that. up into the cave. I want to see what's over here first.
Actually, it continues onward too. You know what? Uh, in that case, then I think I am gonna go this way. Let's see what's in this cave here. more water, eh? We'll see about that. I'm sure if you dig deep enough, there's water to be found. No one believes me, but I believe in myself, and that's the main thing. Come on, old boy. We'll prove them wrong. Worst that can happen is that I'll find treasure. Or caramel seam. That's some good stuff. Caramel. Um... Sorry to say that, that didn't work out well. Not a lot has worked out well for this place. good for if I want to come back. Uh. Yeah, that's why I wanted you to do is climb up. Not, not jump off the edge. Weirdo. outside. Where's my, uh, next point? Uh. Okay, so I can go up there. And that's the intended route. Oh. Nice pebbles. down there too. Don't try, try to correct me line. I know where I'm going.
Okay, I'm curious enough. What's over here? Cause that's taking me pretty far away. There's a sluice gate. Huh. Say no to locks. Water and people should be able to flow freely. We can't deny the many to own for the sake of the few. The current crisis, it's our duty to stand in solidarity with living things. To confine the water is to confine us all. Regular information sessions at the Market Canteen, the White Water Collective. So they were, they were activists against fucking water canals and shit. to the water control. Community Canteen. Upcoming activities. Permanent team to fight water and oil insecurity. Uh, fundraising dinners for the Whitewater Collective. Repair workshop. All items accepted. Oh, the canteen will now open one prime earlier to reduce overcrowding. Pay what you can. Help in the kitchen. Arrive early in the, in the sleep. All help welcome. Place uh, is covered in like this moss and stuff. You wonder if this place was flooded at some point. No one comes by anymore. I haven't sold a single flower. Did I switch careers? But I don't know how to do anything besides taking care of plants. Might as well write poetry, right? Try to at least. Roses are red, violets are blue. Where, oh, where has everyone gone to? Yeah. I thought it was a good poem. Good enough, at least. Don't need to be down on yourself. I don't get any more than that. All right. Okay, so 
I can get up here. That should give me enough height to jump over. So hi Gideon. Did you go wait did you wake up mama? Editorial. In this issue of the Gazette, we'll be looking at the at an animal from the outside for once. The weave beak. Weave beaks are the only animals found in every region of the tower, every known region at least. Sometimes they even venture into into our tunnels. I am a little distracted because my youngest woke up and he's immediately running about being hungry. You act like nobody feeds you. you. Gotta wait until dinner, bug. Okay, then you don't have to eat dinner if you don't want to. That's what we're making. And he's upset now. These medium-sized birds are known for their all-white feathers and blue comb. It's not uncommon to see the playful birds gliding through the warm drafts that rise up the cliffs of the tower. They're also extremely curious and can often be found perched near climbing routes, observing and commenting on what's happening with their fellow birds. Not only are we big social creatures, they're also skilled builders. They work together to build their nests, which have multiple entrances and can house dozens of wee beaks. They're constantly strengthening and expanding their nests, and are always on the lookout for twigs, and the expression, working like a weave beak. Did you know, weave beaks combs, uh -oh, combs open and close depending on their mood. A wide open comb is that the weave beak is alert, or stressed about something, or someone. But enough chatter. Keep, we'll keep reading for an in-depth look at the lives of, the, of these outwardly unassuming, yet fascinating birds. Dear Editor, I've only read the editorial, and I'm already outraged. It all sounds very nice, but you might want to think twice before publishing such nonsense. We beaks are thieves. They're always stealing my wood to build their nests. I'm unsubscribing. Signed, a disgruntled citizen. Yeah, you know what? That's customer service for you. That goes further up. This also goes further up. Now that I've got this point in, I can come down here for the stuff anyways, but also stay hooked in. I'll go around.
Aha, there was a note over here. Come now, dear friend. Enough moping around. The situation isn't as hopeless as that. I'm quite certain the water supply is being managed by some very competent people. I have no doubt that they have a clever plan to get us out of this mess. Believe me, there is no cause for concern. Are you still coming over for tea? We filled the basin. Nothing like a bit of swimming to chase away the blues. Just straight up climbing out. It's like such a climb. Alright. Up we go. Okay, that was rougher than I would have liked. <clears throat> All right, we're on solid ground. It's good that I'm not afraid of heights. Another one of these. Show them what it looks like on the surface of the water. Things are really cool. Oh, 
Oh wow, yeah, that does take a lot. No, no, I'm just gonna continue. I'm wanting to see if I can complete this today. I don't know how much more is left. This part's a really easy climb. What a speed run of this game would look like. Cause like, I could see potentially some really cool climbing tech. That was close to the end of it. Oh my god. That's so cool. I'm gonna be swinging across this cave.
actually don't know where I'm supposed to go. those climbing rocks over there left side are heading over that way they are not okay Oh, right there. Duh. It's lit up and everything. Sorry, I'm like zoning out, unfortunately. I still haven't had my coffee yet. I am, I am struggling. To even keep my eyes open. I tried to take a nap, but uh, it didn't work out because I got distracted. Sorry, Ida, I have to go to the market. Their water inlet is acting up again. Things are starting to get complicated. I really thought that by holding back the water, uh, but there's nothing to be done. The basins are empty. I think it's time for a more radical change. What would have, what would have happened if we'd let the water flow freely from the start? Boring you with my musings, but sometimes I get the feeling we've made a big mistake. There's a pier collapsing in the boatman's district. Think you could take care of it. Hey, Joe. Uh, thing or non-stop at the moment. I've, I'll have to go fishing for a new team to shore it up. Isa's already over at the two pil at the two pillar site. As for the other stuff, I don't know what to say. Done is done. All right, I'll pick up the supplies I need. Then I'm off to the off to the boatman's district. Man, that would probably hurt so bad. You hear that thud? That is a... That is a thud. I have coffee! Take a couple sips. Before I read this. Maybe I can actually get through something without yawning. Doubtful. It's warming though. That's nice. Alright. Alright. Hey, big guy. Hope you're well. You know, I still don't like the thought of you perched above that basin. Too big. You just aren't made for the open air. You'd be better off in, your, in our. T you'd be better off in our tunnels, where it's cozier. You might already have you might have already heard, but Anne's barge is finally back on dry land. They can't drive it anymore, they say. But you should see them now. I, they've never been so busy. They're working at a at a sour rescue center, or some such thing. You can believe it. Who'd want to save who'd want to save sours, seriously? They always look so disgruntled, like they're judging us. Things haven't been easy for Anne, and uh, they seem happy again. That's what matters. Your father played a song for you. It was beautiful. Beautiful. May the currents be kind to you, wherever you are, wherever they are. 
man, I'm I'm all over the place. Uh, eventually, the coffee after taking more sips, it's eventually gonna kick in. Was this originally the basin? Very convenient to have pebbles just running around this. We are the water surveyors. In the dark tunnels, we guide, clean, navigate rivers and streams. So the water called forth in the day in the sky can fill, nourish, cherish all living things. Like a water surveyor's creed. Like the postman creed or whatever. Oh, it's almost very dumb of me. Forgot that my tether was on. I can't fall off the edge of uh, if I don't have a tether, so. Tip even more coffee now. I truly believe that this place was even more beautiful in the past than it is right now. I often wonder what would have happened if the rain had returned. Would we still have met? Maybe we have led parallel lives elsewhere. Right, or would we have pa led parallel lives elsewhere, each of us unaware of the other's existence? Much as seeing the Great Basin dry up more with each sleep fills me with despair, I can't help but be happy by your side. Aww. It's really wholesome.
All right, out of the base. Never mind, I'm mostly out of the basin. I do see something over there. And I can use this to get there. giant mural on the ceiling? Sorry, they're not murals, they're frescoes. Get a little bit closer. That's a that's okay. There we go. Okay. Almost had it. There we go. That's number three. Those are where water would come out, if I had any. Oh, I didn't even see the fish. It's not quite water, but... one way to get out of there.
Very nice. Baking. Oh, is that the storm that they were talking about? Do I get to experience the storm now? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I could see how that would drive you mad if that's all that you heard. Just every second of every day. I really need to watch the uh, where the wind sails are at. The wind socks, as they're called. Not that is not flat enough. Noted. <sighs> All right, so I am actually going to have to go out and around this way. Set my point. That was close enough, but I'm not gonna do anybody any good.
see where it wants me to go at the very least. <clears throat> but there's stuff over here. I've got to see it. Yeah, no, that ain't happening. What is happening, though, is this. there but I'm curious to what's over here Yeah, it's a shell. Here's something other than the wind. Never mind, I just hear the wind in the shell too. That is a big boat though. Sounds like chaos. And maybe things weren't that great up here before the endless storm either. Some heavy wind. The Duchamp continues to carry the ocean away. Last we heard on the sun side, the temperature keeps on rising. Here, a storm is raging and doesn't seem to be letting up. Everything around us is coming to a standstill. Or maybe we've been at a standstill for too long. We won't be able to. Well, we won't be able to nest at the mill much longer, that I know. Um, but we can't leave without putting up a fight. 
meantime, I was distracted. Um, in the meantime, we've entrusted our little owl to uh, my sibling. They're traveling downward with the fa with their family, like most of the other heights dwellers. All should be safe under the stone. I already missed my little nestling smile. We'll see each other again when the clouds decide. And now we are. Now we have a difference in. Another difference in the cultures as well of the tower. The. I think this time it's. The people that actually um, that lived up here that uh, that speak of clouds and nestlings and just things like this are involving birds. I don't know if I want to meet that thing. I get the feeling that I will be meeting that thing. I wonder if they heard that too when they were, uh, when they were up here. Greetings. I waited for your craftspeople to arrive several sleeps ago, but they never landed. When can I expect you? We're patching things up as best we can, but the wind is carrying away everything in its path. And the roof won't hold out much longer. The situation is getting urgent. Hope this reply doesn't reach you too late. Relays have been malfunctioning recently. I apologize, but due to the storm, we are no longer able to travel to your altitude. The danger is too great. My only advice is to take shelter. An emergency shelter is being set up here for your for you height dwellers. May rain fall on you and your loved ones. You have my full support. Yeah, so they were they couldn't even get any help up here. It's extremely sad. that arm real quick and Draining my stamina. Why am I slipping? There we go. That was weird. There's something up here. It's a matter of what. Becca was right. Water creatures were incredible. Huge. So ballast surreal after all. It was their song I'd hear sometimes between gusts of wind. We only just caught a glimpse of them, but once we did, nothing else mattered. Everyone went quiet, watching them slowly disappear into the storm. For a long time, no one moved a muscle. Arlo shook his head, staring into space. For a moment, he looked like he had, like he, 
lost his bearings, same as the rest of us. After the astonishment came, to, oh, came the feverish preparations around me. The rope, or well, the rope team, got moving, sharpening their weapons, scanning the clouds. We needed to capture at least one of those flying water tanks. Even Soul ended up grabbing a harpoon. What other hope do we have of bringing the water back? He sounded almost apologetic. But I'm the one who's sorry. I'm guessing that the, uh... The hunt didn't go very well either. But it's interesting that they reached this high. Every sleep, I tried to convince Arlo, Sol, and the others to stay. I even threw their harpoons away. At least the ones I could reach. But they were so determined to catch a sky giant and return with its water. Go back to the way life was before. The way life was before is what brought us here. They ventured into the storm to hunt and never returned. Waited for them for a long time. Lost at sea. I grieved for them. Who else but me? They may be gone, but I treasure their memory. Still remember Nace's advice. Soul's laugh. Arlo's furrowed brow. Sometimes my thoughts turn to my parents. Emmy. Gail. Matt. Where they are. Where they're going. Their thoughts drift up here. Sometimes. They live within me, too. First I kept track of my harvest, but as time went by, I ended up losing track. To survive, I became an earth scratcher too. What would you make of that, Becca? Probably doing it all wrong, but things are growing. Not bad for a girl from low tide. Note to self. I have to divide up my garden beds if I want to have enough hard tack for the cycles to come. I don't know when I decided to stay up in the crow's nest. It just happened. I'm happy here. Wish I could talk to the, the young Bianca who left low tide. Who only ever thought of leaving. Moving. Too impatient for a stationary world. Probably find this quite ironic. But this climb. Pretty so long ago now. Taught me to live in the present moment. It took me a while, but I finally put down roots. With each passing sleep, I understand it more clearly. The tower needs me. It needs us all. It needs us to change. If we have to change our way of being, I guess we'll start here. I never belonged in low tide. A late housekeeper in an oceanless world. But since I met the ballast, I feel like I found something I didn't know I'd lost. A fragile link to something bigger than myself. Mutual respect. Nothing compared to these water giants who swim through the storm. But they look at me with interest and curiosity. They watch me when I carve my scraps of wood, when I bring in the harvest, when I write. As if to learn, remember. I want to stay here in case someone else is crazy enough to try to find them. They watch over me, and I watch over them in turn. The ballasts draw near, lifts wake up. Even I feel like I stand taller and feel lighter, more alert, younger even. <laughs> These arthritic joints are have creaked for a long time now. You get the idea. I wonder how long the palace kept me company in my Spartan existence. They eventually left, one by one. I know they're out there somewhere, though. One of them stayed. Some see me from time to time. Like it's watching over me. Watch each other grow older. We go about our business. Knowing the other's there. That's enough. It gives me someone to talk to. I'm happy. Where I'm meant to be. Where I need to be now. Well, unless, uh, unless there's a note higher up, I'm 
going to assume that's the end of the story for Bianca. There's the spears that they had. Well, that said, that uh, that was the last of the frescoes, so I must be reaching the end. And that was the last letter from Bianca. Then that does raise the question now of who is this character and who am I playing as? Were they once somebody that was here? I can only assume not, unless it was uh, that little kid that was being talked about from before. And either way, no matter who this character is, why are they here? I don't have any weapons to hunt down a ballast. Alright, start this climb. to make it up through the storm. does not want me climbing. The storm is still clearly raging on, but... Alright. Here we are. Is that like a giant wind turbine? It is. Does it generate energy or will it calm the storm? By the way, it's seen better days. Four.
Hello? Oh, little guy's so excited. He has seen better days. So covered in moss, grime, and nets. Take me about the storm. It is. guy's not doing so hot. Oh, so says the G. Uh oh. Actually, I think it's pronounced C. Z well, C Z G. C Z G. I only know that because of, I've had to look it up. 
There's a thing in Lancer called the uh, Aya of the CZG. And uh, I really wanted to know how it was pronounced. I know this is a climbing game, but I'm not sure I look forward to climbing a tower at the top of the tower. Especially with the little guy here just dying in my arms. Because I'm not putting him in my jacket. Out is so small. Oh. That's where the other ballasts went. Oh. <laughs> they were trying to reach the water in the sky. They couldn't because it's all frozen over. That makes me wonder then, is this little guy supposed to be a sky whale? A ballast that I found? that I need to start climbing. I'm gonna start anywhere. This looks like the spot. I even see a clip end point. in there, little man. Those aren't things that I can grab onto. Those aren't. So I can't climb on those. I, I, I see where I should be able to climb but it's like can I can swing up there like this
Do I get anything for climbing along the constellation? Do I get any benefits for... Trying to resonate near things? So I can't climb up here. I just suck. Fortunately, I have to jump between each individual constellation, so... This eats that way up my stamina real fucking quick. I wonder if I need to activate all of these constellations. I'm gonna try to activate as many as I can. Let's try that again. There's another entrance. side again. Clearly somebody has been through here, otherwise there wouldn't be like grab point stuff, right?
and getting close to the top. Running out of rope. And that's just in case. Little man's making messes over here. Right at the finale, too. Just set him down on the cold stone. That's mean. Come on, little man. waking up. No. Little guy is a ballast. I knew it. Water back? Or is it literally just saving the ballast? I'm fine with either, but. Get him, little man. I'm gonna miss you. Tower gonna be a bitch to climb back down. Raining. Be 
cliche, but I love it. That was honestly and undeniably a beautiful game. Like, climbing mechanics were simple yet fun. A story that was being told was one of just a lost people scattered not knowing what to do but all determined in their own way and all the environments were absolutely magical just like I said on Tuesday this game At least for me. Maybe this game is harder for others than it is for me. But for me, it proves that you don't have to, you know, mark everything insanely clearly. Give like visuals to uh, to show what you can climb on. You don't have to yellow like paint it with yellow or blue or whatever you decide is the color that you're going to be painting things to indicate, hey, you can climb on this. You can just leave it in the world. So long as it makes sense. So long as, you know, use proper techniques to show where you need to go. It can make for a very beautiful environment, untainted by, you know, the heavy-handedness that we see in a lot of games nowadays. Like, could you imagine this game if, like, there were just constant arrows pointing here, there, and everywhere, and um, and just yellow paint marking the path that you're supposed to take all the time. No. It marked your path only as much as was necessary. Guffs on the wall, an occasional, like, little painted, like, painting on the wall from people for before a hook spot because this was built around a culture where climbing was was everything. And it worked. It worked beautifully. So... Thank you to the team Don't Nod and anybody else that uh, helped in the making of this game because this was a really good game a short game but that's okay it didn't outstay its welcome if you're watching this and despite watching playthrough just joining you want to give it a try yourself I highly encourage it 
because it's a lot of fun. It's not that hard. It's very chill. Story environment and environments are just wonderful to be in. Wonderful to experience. And you can get this on the Xbox Game Pass. Um, if you have that. If not, of course, you can find it on most storefronts. I'm sure that it's probably on Game System as well. But I am playing the Game Pass version. I do greatly appreciate the developers of this game for making something so, so beautiful. I'm going to continue to let these uh, credits play out because every person that worked on this game, every person that tested this game deserves to be acknowledged. I mean, that's what credits are for. I'll be happy to watch it. I don't think there is. And that was seven kids that were born during the making of this game. Holy hell. Oh, that little thank you for climbing right at the end. Man, I missed a lot. <laughs> That's alright though. I've had my fill. If you're still here though, thank you for being here. While it is a short stream, I don't want to start up anything else right now. So I hope you have, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. And uh, the thing that I'm hoping to do with Gizmo isn't set up by next week. And I'll probably be starting up Cocoon. Which I've heard is also a really like beautiful looking game. A lot of fun. And uh, it's just a nice short experience. So, I know nothing else about it. Other than the art style. I hope to experience it with anybody that's willing to watch. Have a good night.